My main area in my work is the relationship between the man-made and, um, and, um, and the organic and the natural spaces. Southern Light Stations, basically it's a, a study on um, how we used to look at the sky before the invention of the telescope. And the sky is, uh, for me, a place of, um, of projections and of where human imagination has a huge place. Um, that's why I was so interested in this, the study of the sky and especially how we looked at the sky with bare eyes without really knowing what it really was. So I was um, reading a lot of um, uh, theories and uh, uh, ancient theories of how um, the sky was perceived and uh, I was, uh, for example, thinking about how Copernicus would, um, would study the sky. So I was actually thinking about his uh, space, so his, almost his little station where he would have all his um, scientific um, uh, instruments and 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 the space I thought would could be um, sort of a remote station where it was grounded on earth but at the same time it was completely orientated towards the sky so the the first two pictures are at night time um, I wanted one of them to be very much alive that's why I used a uh, smoke and flashlight with I don't really necessarily use in my work this was related to the, the, the theories of the Middle Ages where they had you know, bubbles of fires in the sky and the stories of witches and uh, very um, mad stories. The second picture is, a bit, is about um, being a, a wall, something that is um, finite. The sky as being finite compared to, of, of course, how we see it now. We built um, a sort of um, a circle, circular structure, a round room, which for me uh, reminded of a, an observatoire without being exactly, of course, the shape of an observatoire. I think it was more evoking a form of observatoire, a form of um, uh, place to observe and place to study. And in a way, I thought it was quite important because this room is so big and, and the ceiling is really high. I wanted to have a room that was a bit more um, quiet and intimate. And in this um, room, we positioned the stereoscope. So I was interested in, in how they would see the, the clouds in the Middle Ages, like this compact uh, pieces of um, Form, or I don't know what they, they thought it, it was, but uh, um, so that's why I wanted to translate that into those uh, stereoscopic images. So the production of the images are um, quite complicated. Um, for the towers, for example, it was actually quite much more simple because it's a um, piece of paper, uh, three meters high, and I have a little wooden structure at the back, and it's quite easy. I just need to wait for the right day so there is no wind and the tide is uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the right level. Um, but for the spheres, actually, it was the most complicated project I worked on because I had to have a structure, like a scaffolding on site to hold the sphere up. So I worked with people in the theatre world and the cinema, which was really important to me, um, to, be in, to have a good team. Showing the paper and the, the wires, and it's not only showing what it is, but at what it is uh, materialistically. But I hope that it also offers the possibility for the viewer to imagine what it was for me to take the picture when I was there, on you know, in this landscape when I photographed it. Um, that's why it's important. Otherwise, it's true. I could just photograph. Um, um, this building, you know, and then Photoshop it, which is really not my intention. I think it's, for me, it's, it's more about um, living the experience of, of doing such a big uh, installation and then trying to retranslate this into the, the image.